Hey everybody, welcome back. I sure hope you enjoyed our story about um, the little blue truck. It's always been one of my favorites. And I thought maybe you'd like to make some of the characters that were in the story of the little blue truck. We have got um, all these cute little finger puppets that we made. All the characters that you know and love from the book. We have frog and sheep and horse and chicken and duck and pig and goat and of course cow. And um, there are, um, they're just made with felt. Um, some of them have tails on the back sides of them, like goat and cow does. Um, pig has got a little curly tail on his backside. And chicken and duck both have uh, tails on their backsides. Um, horse has got a horsey tail. And um, sheep has got a sheepy tail. Frog, of course, does not because frogs don't have tails. So that's okay. And then of course we couldn't make Little Blue Truck without actually making Little Blue Truck and so we've done that too. So um, if we were in class, I would have printed off copies for you of all of our Little Blue Truck. But since we're not in class, I can't do that for you. But if you have access to the internet at home, you can print off a copy of Little Blue Truck. Um, we simply went to the website www.coloringpages.com com. Um, and then the end of it. And there's all kinds of coloring pages there. And you can just print off um, this picture of a truck. You can also just print off any picture of a truck that you find. Um, and then you just want to color it in. I had my uh, children color in our copy for us. And they made theirs look just like blue. And then you want to cut out um, very carefully around the edges of your truck. Um, so it's just a silhouette. And you can throw the other paper away. And then you want to find a box. Um, my kids found a Pop-Tart box that um, was just the right size of our cutout. You could also use a Kleenex box or uh, maybe the bottom half of a small cereal box. Um, even a Ziploc bag box would fit nicely. Um, and then uh, we covered this one with paper. We just cut off and measured the paper to cover this one up. And then the one that we used in our show we actually covered with just plain contact paper, some contact paper I had left over from years ago when I lined the cupboards. And um, we lined that with that. That worked nice because with its sticky backside, it easily stuck to the box without us having to get our fingers messy with a bunch of glue. So that would be how you would make little blue truck um, so that you've got something to put all your characters into. But how do we make our little finger puppets? Um, these can be as labor intensive or as simple as you would like them to be. If you want to make them really simple while you're online printing off your little blue truck, print off all the characters and then color them all in and then glue them to your popsicle sticks and you have easy, easy made puppets. Um, the bad thing about paper puppets like that is that after a lot of intense play, they won't hold up for long. So um, I thought we could go something a little stronger. You could make them out of construction paper, but again, if you have um, a lot of intensive play or long-term play planned, they won't last as long either. So your best bet is to use felt. And um, I found some a variety of colored felt in my stash of craft supplies. And I cut off strips that were about um, six to seven inches long, and they were about originally two, two and a half inches um, wide. And what I ended up doing was I made a template. It looks kind of like, here's my pink one. Um, and I made a template out of some scrap paper, um, construction paper that I had. And all it really was is it kind of looks like a ghost, like what you would use for Halloween. Um, a long upside down U, if you like to look at it that way. And then I just took my strip of felt paper, or felt, um, a piece of felt, my colored felt. And I put the top of the U here at the folded part. And then I took my good fabric scissors that my children know that they are not allowed to play with because they're only for fabric and crafting, never for paper. And we just cut off the edges here to make a nice um, body shape for our finger puppet. And we can throw that away. And then, so there's your template and here's your easy um, body of your puppet. Now, depending on what puppet you're going to make depends on what you're gonna do next. If you're going to be making the ducks or the chicken or the frog, you have to put some things on the inside of your puppet. Um, you'd want to cut out like teardrop shaped, um, like the size of your thumb shaped um, felt for the wings. And then as you can see, I just um, serrated the edges here with the scissors 
to make their feathers. Um, and then on the frog, we just cut out um, little hands and little feet of additional green felt. The feet we actually glued to the front of his body, but his hands are glued on the inside. So if that would be your next step would be is you'd want to glue the inside. Now, I don't recommend um, your stick glue that won't hold it. You can most certainly use um, regular school glue. It will take much longer to dry if you opt for that option or if you have crafting glue, you can use that too. That will also take a long time to dry. Um, so if you'd like to do this project with your children, um, then you can have them design it and you can get out the hot glue gun and you simply want to um, glue up along the edges and back down. But you wanna make sure you leave the, the bottom open because that is the part where we put our fingers in or your popsicle sticks. And then just fold your felt on top of itself like so and press hard to seal. And that makes your piggy body just like so. Now we have to cut out some piggy ears. So you're gonna want little scraps of the same colored felt. If you are doing like the horse, we did um, brown triangles, um, for the sheep, we did um, little black ewes. Um, the duck and the chicken don't have ears. Um, we use the same black ones for the cow and for the goat that we use for the sheep. The frog also doesn't have ears. So I cut out two squares. I laid them on top of each other so that the ears would be symmetrical just because I'm kind of OCD that way. And I just cut out another U shape, kind of freehand. It's okay if they're a little wonky looking. Um, Animal ears always look a little bit different. And we're gonna want to glue these. Um, you can either tuck them on the inside before you glue it shut, or you can just glue them to the back of your finger puppet like so. And we're just going to attach them like that. Be careful not to burn yourself. You don't want anybody going to the emergency room for third degree burns. And there's your piggy ears. Now we need some eyes. So um, I have a whole bunch of these googly eyes in my craft supply bin, but if you don't, you can always cut out white circles and then use a Sharpie marker to make the, the black eyeballs, or you can um, use black felt, whichever you would like. But since I have the googly eyes, we'll go ahead and glue our googly eyes onto our piggy. And there's one, and there's two. If you want to be silly with your piggy, you can make them some glasses. Maybe your piggy needs bifocals. Maybe he's an older pig. Um, be as fun or as creative as you'd like. My youngest uh, made some, made a couple finger puppets after we did these today too. She enjoyed make, being creative and coming up with new ideas. The next thing you need to make for your piggy is his nose. And again, you just need another square um, piece of felt that we can cut into another big circle. Just wanna kinda of cut in there and bring it all the way around because we're making it the nose, we want it to be kind of big, just like that. And we need to also give him some nostrils. And so you're gonna to wanna to take some scrap black felt. I have a couple little pieces here I saved before we threw them all away. You don't need a lot at all. And you just want to make the thinnest sliver of a cut possible, just like that. So that you can come up with two slots for your pig nose, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach our pig nose to our pig. And we're gonna put a little drop of glue on there and right under his eyes. And then I just put a little bit of glue on his nose so I don't burn my fingers. And very carefully put his nostrils onto his nose. And you can try to move him around a little bit if you like. It's okay to pick your pig's nose this one time, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so we will pick the little stringies off of his nose though. Okay, so there's your pig's body. And on the back side of him, he's going to need his tail. So here again, we're going to take a scrap piece of pink felt. And I have little glue stringies everywhere. And I just started cutting in a circular shape and then cutting in on itself so that we could make a spiral. 
and you don't want to cut all the way through. You just want to keep coming around and around until you run out of felt space. You can kind of see that it makes kind of a stringy thing there. And we're going to cut it off here. And it kind of wants to spring back, boing. And there's our little curly tail. And we're going to put just a little dop of glue on the back of our pig and put our tail on him like that. Now, I said to my kids, Piggy looks like he needs something. And my oldest son said that he was too clean. So we thought we could give him some muddy dirt. So I found some brown felt scraps that I had saved from when we did the horse. And I thought, okay, we could cut up some muddy streaks to put on our pig. And again, we just put some glue on his bottom and put our mud on our piggy because pigs like to roll around in the mud. There, and that's how you make the finger puppet pig. If you, and then you can just use a popsicle stick if you don't want to use your fingers and pop it inside like so. And now your piggy is ready for play. And he's fun to play with. To do your other ones, like I said, um, you want to use like a piece of orange felt for a beak for the duck or a piece of yellow triangular felt for the chicken. You can cut um, the little feather out of red for the top of the chicken's um, head. Um, for the cow, we made his nose the same way we did the pig's one. And I just cut out some black circles for spots for the cow. For the goat, I cut off some long black stri um, strips for his horns. And we also cut off a little um, gray piece. And I serrated the edges of that too so that he could have a fluffy tail. I did that for the cow tail also. Just made it kind of long. For the horse, we just cut some yarn up for his mane. And put them on the top and then we cut some more yarn for his tail and made that one really simple and for the sheep we got some cotton balls and we cut them in half and then I cut them in half again because you didn't want it too big and fluffy because that would make the puppet really top heavy um, and we just kind of stretched them and flattened them out and then we glued the circle for his eyes on the top and a nose and then a cotton ball on his backside and a tail the frog was probably the most complicated one that we did. Um, I got a different color green felt and I cut a half moon circle for his belly. And I cut um, kind of a um, M shaped top and then a U shaped bottom out of this piece. And that became his face. And I cut out a red semi or half circle for the smile. And we even cut off little pieces of black for eyebrows for him to give him some expression. Um, again, his hands and his feet, they were cut from the same length of felt. They were about an inch and a half long. And then I just maneuvered my scissors around into an M shape um, to create the, the fingers and toes for his feet. His feet we actually glued um, with them being the long way up. And then I glued them one more time, folding them over. So that would give them some depth and make it look like he was ready to hop. Um, so the frog was probably the most complicated one that I did. Oh, and I almost forgot, on our goat, we even found a black pom-pom in my craft bin, and we cut that in half to give him a little goat beard. So I think that's everything for our, our puppets. Um, I hope you enjoy making these finger puppets, um, whether you do it out of paper or construction paper or out of felt. Um, I hope you have fun playing with them and with your little blue truck as you relive the story of little blue helping the giant dump truck. And I'm thinking that in another week or so, I might read another story about a dump truck and then we'll do a fun dump truck craft idea then. So stay tuned for that. Okay, well, I hope you guys all have a great night and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.